Hello everyone and welcome back to Subnautica. We are just above our base right now. Kind of surveying the area. Everything's still in sight. At some point we're going to go back to the Aurora. Well not go back to. Go there the first time. And uh, maybe try and repair the systems. Um, we got done last episode building our submarine. And I went ahead and gave it a name and paint job here. It is black. Or a really, really dark, dark blue, almost black, with a white stripe, and the name is Prometheus. I figured that would be the most suiting name just off the uh, computer voice that's on it. So, it looks good. And the trim, some of the trim is gold. So, it's, it's a really striking craft at this point. It looks good. I have been using Prometheus to keep our Seamoth charged for now, but this episode, I believe we're going to ac finally accomplish it our new addition. So I went ahead and found the moon pool fragments. It didn't take too long. Um, all I had to do was build a compass so I knew which way was south because I've never gone that way before in the game and I haven't even been that far mm -hmm. in the game yet myself. And of course my phone rings always. Um, so the moon pool is essentially the official docking pad for our craft. And so we need four titanium fragments, four lubricant, and an advanced wiring kit. The advanced wiring kit I don't think would be too tough. We just need a computer piece for that. Let's go ahead and head over. We need four lubricant first, so we'll go over to the creep vines and harvest some of these goodness. That's eight of these seeds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Come on, let me click on you. Eight, I believe that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep. So that's enough for our lubricant. And we'll go in here. Make that real quick. Things are progressing quite smoothly at this point for us. Food and water is slowly becoming less of a concern, though. It can be annoying at times still. Alright, one, two, three, four. Um, now we need, if we look at the blueprints here, we need an advanced wiring kit, which is a computer chip and two gold. So I need coral samples, and I believe I have two gold that I do. So let's go get our coral samples. Off we go. Should be along the cliff face over here and the transition between the starting kind of biome and the reef. There are these red corals that will just kind of choppity choppity. One and two. Perfect. Now the annoying thing is going to be the metal. I need to find a whole bunch of fragments to smelt down. Warning. Okay, there's one right there. Of oxygen remaining. Like a dolphin just surfacing and then immediately diving back down for some goodies. Hopefully no sharks come, because I don't have a pod to help me kill it. Let's collect some food while we're out and about. Come here. Check inventory. Kind of wish I could move things around. You know, do some inventory management, because... Or it does it automatically. Okay. So we got three. And that's enough for our first titanium. Just swing on by. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Thanks, Shannon. New creature discovered. Keep me alive. Cook my hoop fish. Cook my boomerang. Alright, full on food. And now let's make our computer chip. Cool. And the advanced wiring kit. 
which is basically a laptop. All right, why not? Okay, so we can throw that in there. And now we just need that titanium, right? All right, so one, two, three. And yes, I can count out loud. It's a trained YouTuber trait. So there's our first ingot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So hopefully go quicker. And then, once we have our moon pool, I'll be happy to take the sea moth around a lot more. We don't have to rely so much on our sea glide, as we will have a charging station. As far as I know, it recharges. I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, lag as the biomes load. More lag as the biomes load. Uh, let's see. Metal, metal. Where's the metal? Get some air. Cool. Got some salt. How about over here? Any metal over in this direction? I know I need you for water. Come here. Oh! So thanks. I do like the noise those make. Let's see. Alright. There's one. I'm slowly using up all my metal sources here. Give me the go. What is chasing me? Something is chasing me. Or not. Just strange noises. Warning. Alright. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's head up. After we smelt all this down, we'll have enough for two bars, which will leave just the one left. I'm sure going around gathering this stuff is not the most entertaining thing in the world to watch, but it is necessary. By the way, we did live stream today. It did go fairly well. Thank you again for all the people that did show up. Uh, we played some Smite. Played some scrap mechanic, played some elite dangerous. Um, yeah, it was a good time to hang out and talk with you guys. So, I'll hopefully do another one at another time. So, if anyone missed it, you guys can show up for that. Let's see. We can't get back to base in a timely manner. Cool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, Shannon. I almost called her Sheila. I'm not Australian. Don't know why I would have thought Sheila. Okay. Throw that in there. Get our two titanium out of it. Good. Now we just need one more. So two metal fragments. And then we'll have this thing built. What is this? Several ore? Why is it just sitting out there? I don't know. I don't really need it right now, so I can leave it. Advanced storage techniques. Throwing it out in the water. Metal, metal, metal. You're not metal, but I can eat you. Pick up some quartz as well. More load in from the biomes. There's some metal. The first one. And metal number two is there. I see you just flipping around. Ooh, peeper. Food. Uh, let's get one more air sack for water. As you can see, 
We burn through that stuff rather quickly. What are you? A whole fish? I don't know what you are, but uh, I'll eat you. I feel like it's new. At least new to my eyes. I've never seen it before. There's Prometheus. It's awesome. Just... I don't know, it's rather intimidating of a craft. The only thing is just keeping it powered. Alright. So, we got this. And another. Titanium acquired. Just like that. Let's grab our others. We need our advanced wiring kit and a four lubricant. And moon pool. So, let's... Exit the base. It's becoming nighttime, which is a good thing. Ish. Now let's see, where can I put this? Do I have to make a con connecting hallway? Can I put it under the station here? This thing's rather large, don't you think? Saw it turn green for a second. I don't know where though. Oh, maybe I might need a connecting hallway first. I don't quite know how the moon pool attaches. Nighttime approaches. Well, thank you for the information. I'll tell you what. Since it's nighttime and it's really too dark to record much, I'm gonna go ahead and place the moon pool, and we'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, our base looks a little bit different now. We have the moon pool fragment. Um, sadly, when placed, it kind of deleted this section of terrain, which I find a little annoying, but our solar panels are still there, kind of hanging off that little lip. Um, their cables kind of look like they're being tethered and holding up some of the structure, which looks okay. Um, yeah, it has quite the heavy support structure onto it. And let's go ahead, hop into Welcome aboard, Captain. Prometheus here. Grab our little sea moth. There you go. Deploy. Welcome aboard, Captain. And dock. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, good. It does recharge it. I can access its upgrades, which is cool. And so, we're gonna go ahead and try and get a Seamoth modification stable up and running here. So we need one glass, two computer chips, and two titanium. A little pricey for what it does. Eventually I'm gonna put stuff in this room, like storage or something. All right, so. Look at computer chip again. Looks like we just need some silver ore, which I still have some laying around, which is good. We will also need a glass. So two computer chips. Check. And a piece of glass, of course. And then two titanium. And luckily we can use Seamoth to gather that titanium up. We just need one more, really. Do I have enough for two pieces of glass? No. Nah. Alright, let's run over to the Seamoth. That has an animation. That's nice. Okay. I like you, Moonpool. You allow us for greater and faster transportation going forward. Da -da 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 -da. Listen to that little engine roar. Fully charged. 
Fully ready. I need to repair it at some point. It's like 80%. I keep running over fish. I'm taking damage. Oh, there's a metal fragment. Now I'm gonna have to install probably more solar panels at some point. Can also install a thermal reactor of some kind. I did find that while I was looking around for the moon pool fragments. But it looks like it needs like warm water. So I don't know if we had to like pipe the electricity back or not. That's something we'll have to test. Okay, grab you. Oh, oh god, hitting all the fish. And you. Alright, back to base. And then we can build this station. Be good to go. Do, 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 do. Head up over here, through the seaweed. Let's go under the rock, because it's cool. Woo! This game's so beautiful and fun. It's just a fun survival game. What the heck is, is that? Was something singing? I don't know if you guys... Sounds like one of the whale things, but higher pitch. I have no idea. Huh. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if stalkers make that noise, but I don't think they do. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and dock. Sweet. It'll recharge automatically. So nice. Echo chamber. Echo chamber. Alright. Titanium acquired. thing go. Wait. It just, <laughs> it just requires normal titanium and I went out and make ingots? Are you kidding me? Back on to the sea moth. Alright. We got our titanium for real this time. I mean, not like the last ones were fake, but uh, this one will actually work. Oh, there we go. Seamoth modification station. Now, where do we put this in here? I put it here. Uh, where do I put you? Explain! What the heck? Build this in the moon pool to upgrade the sea moth. Oh! Uh, really? Is that the only spot it goes? Okay. Why not? Isn't that facing the wrong way? Oh. Well, that's different. Like, carved out the wall. Oh, we can choose the color. And we can name Seamoth? Well, it looks like we're going to need a name for Seamoth at this point. We got Prometheus. This one's a little girly. So, you know, they can keep that in mind. Uh, I can make it matching colors if I wanted it to. You know. White stripe. Just for now, so you guys can see kind of where it is. 
That looks that looks pretty cool. I like the black and gold paint job on it. But we will need a new name. For sure. What's this? Use fabricator. Seamoth torpedoes! Upgrade modules? Hall reinforcement? Sonar? Torpedo system? Parameter defense system? Storage module? Solar charger? Power efficiency module? And pressure compensator. That's gonna be important. I'm pretty sure I want the solar charger in case we go out too far. Uh, torpedo would be cool, and I don't really care about the topographical stuff. The defense system, I think, would be good. Storage locker is pretty nice, too. Can I only have four upgrades? I think I can only have four. Who knows? I could have different CMOS for different variants on them. Different names, different colors, depending on what they do. But that requires more moon pools. Maybe for different bases at some point. That'd be cool. It looks so weird seeing the water down there. Okay. Well, now we kind of have an objective next time. I have a radiation suit, by the way. I can go to the Aurora. And I feel like that's something we're going to have to do at some point. Store some of our stuff. This peeper. And I think I'm going to call the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you guys enjoyed the episode, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more creative goodness. Go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment down below on what you want me to build next or work on next. And uh, names for our vehicles, of course. Um, yeah. Go ahead and check out my other videos if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next episode.